So recently, I've been playing some uh, some some more uh, helicopter missions that I've been gunning. And so, in this video, I'd just like to go out what the loadout of your H-94 that you spawn into means about your pilot or about you loading it up. The first loadout we have is no loadout, which means that your pilot is an idiot. The next loadout I like to talk about is only with the gun. I don't really know what this means about your pilot, because they're, they're, you're either at the two extremes. You're either crazy good, or you don't really know what else to equip, at which case you're very new. Okay, disagree with me in the comments here, but the M230 is the best gun for the helicopter. Okay, 30 millimeters is a lot better than 20 millimeters. You tap anything with 30 millimeters, it's dead. If you have a gun and the single pods of Hydras and every first option, you're probably pretty new to the game. If you get into the helicopter and you find yourself with AGM-145s and the radar and everything, you're probably looking at more of a mid to high to more experienced player of the game because they know what to equip that their most gunners can use. If you find yourself spawning into someone who has AGM-114s, slap them in the face because if AGM-145s are available, they should not be using the 114s because they suck. Typically, if you find yourself spawning in and your pilot has GBUs attached to your plane, they're typically looking at more of the high of the mid where they realize that bunkers exist and the only way to get bunkers is with the GBUs and they trust that their gunner or themselves can use GPS. If your pilot has all AGM-145s, but no heat-seeking missiles, they're probably one of the people to tell you that heat-seeking missiles are useless, which they're not wrong, and therefore makes them more to the experienced end of the VTOL VR spectrum. If you find yourself loading in with a pilot that has a more exotic loadout, such as seen here, you'll probably find that they're more to the experience side of the spectrum, even going so far as to call some of them sweats, where they will take control away from you and dump hydras on any enemies that they see that you cannot acquire fast enough. Okay, one, one last thing. If you have a pilot that talks to you about the amount of fuel they have and why they decrease it before they start or they leave the APU running to suck up more fuel, they're typically a very, very sweaty player because they believe that the slight amount of fuel and the slight amount of weight that that saves them will save them in a combat situation. Thanks for listening to my rant. See you in the next one. That was good.